Hello, welcome to the online instructor's training course for black box software testing. In this presentation, I'm going to offer a broad overview of the project and how it has evolved over the years. This course, along with the black box software testing courses, was partially supported by two National Science Foundation grants. Doug Hoffman and Scott Barber contributed to the instructor course materials. Thanks also to Dr. Bill Schof of Florida Tech and Mike Kelly, past president of the Association for Software Testing, for encouragement and support for the BBST courses. My name is Becky Fiedler and I have been an educator of one sort or another for two and a half decades. Now I'm working as an independent consultant and as a co-principal investigator on the National Science Foundation grant that subsidizes the development of these courses. In that collaboration, I take the lead on the teaching and instructor development aspects of our work. If you've taken any of the BBST courses, and if you're in the instructor's course, you almost certainly have, you already know Kim Kaner. He's the other co-principal investigator for the National Science Foundation work, and he brings a software testing expertise to this collaboration. And you might remember that people like James Bach, Hong Nguyen, and Doug Hoffman contributed substantially to the software testing courses over a period of many years. But moving the classes online was a new experience for many in the software testing field. The Association for Software Testing, AST's Education SIG, along with a host of students and dozens of their volunteer instructors contributed substantially to moving the testing materials online and to helping us figure out how to teach others to teach the courses online. Your instructor materials and resources are substantially better thanks to the many fine people who have been involved in AST's BBST project over the past few years. In this first required lecture, you're going to learn about the philosophies of teaching and testing that underlie the BBST project. You'll also find out a bit about how the course is structured and why it is structured the way it is. The instructor's orientation course you are beginning is specifically designed to support these goals to develop and sustain a cadre of academic, in-house, and commercial instructors. Throughout this course, you will develop the skills you need to incorporate the BBST materials into your own teaching, whether you work on your own or for another organization. In addition to this course, you may also become a member of an ongoing online instructors forum and participate in a series of face-to-face -face instructor meetings in conjunction with various professional associations to further develop your teaching skills. The second goal is to offer and evaluate the course at collaborating research sites, including both universities and businesses. These materials were developed over the course of many years. The current version of these materials were used in face-to-face -face software testing classes taught by Kem Kaner at Florida Institute of Technology. The instructional model for which these were developed devotes class time to coached activities, interactive discussions, and student presentations by assigning students to view studio-produced lecture videos delivered via the internet before coming to class. Over the last several years, the Association for Software Testing was the primary research site to determine how the materials could be used to build a sustainable professional development model. Software testing has typically played a minor role in the undergraduate computer science curriculum. Very few colleges or universities offer testing degrees or prepare graduates for a career in software testing. As a result, many testing practitioners enter the workforce with little preparation in the field, and there is tremendous need to educate both test practitioners and university students. This project attempts to reach those who teach practitioners as well as those who teach college students. Where do you plan to teach? We expect interested instructors to include graduates of at least one, and possibly more than one, BBST course. In our work with the Association for Software Testing, we've been thrilled with the number of volunteers who want to become involved with the project after taking one of the courses. We also expect to see university instructors, both experienced and inexperienced, commercial trainers offering open enrollment and private courses, in-house trainers, and professional association instructors. The preparation you need to teach software testing classes will vary depending on where you want to teach. There are a number of paths available to individuals interested in teaching software testing. The BBST instructors course cannot address each of those paths, but will try to offer a useful experience for people who complete the course, perhaps as part of a more comprehensive set of preparatory activities outlined by another organization. Several scenarios can illustrate this idea. A university professor who is developing a course in software testing may complete the BBST instructor's course to familiarize herself with the BBST materials and instructional format. Her background probably includes a rigorous interview process in which a search committee satisfied themselves of her academic preparation for the position. It is very unlikely a university will ask a faculty member to provide work products from this instructor's orientation course to qualify her for teaching a software testing course. 
The Association for Software Testing is using BBST materials to provide professional development courses as a benefit to their members. The AST is requiring all prospective instructors to complete the BBST instructor's course as one part of their preparation. Furthermore, they are certifying instructors for commercial or non-AST use. If you are interested in becoming an AST certified instructor, please contact the association. We'll revisit this topic briefly in the final module of this course. A small software testing consultancy offers training to their clients. The owner knows you as an individual contributor on testing projects, but has never seen you interact with students. He asks to see some of the student interaction simulations from the BBST instructors course to learn more about how you might interact with students. A manager for a software testing group wants to provide professional development opportunities for members of her team. She knows that the demands of the current project make it difficult to use the suggested format for materials, but she has some ideas on how to modify the structure for her context. This is a pilot project for her company, and she's the first to review the BBST materials with an eye to using them for in-house training. She plans to complete the BBST instructor's course and all of the suggested exercise and activities, even though she knows she doesn't need to have any of her work reviewed back at her company. She decides that if her idea for professional development works, she will have her senior testers take an active role in her initiative and she will ask them for a couple of their work products from the orientation course. An independent commercial trainer can use the Creative Commons licensed BBST materials in his own courses. Ultimately, he is responsible for the content and success of his own courses. He's unlikely to have anyone ask him to submit work products from the BBST instructor's course for review. If you plan to teach for another organization, please contact that organization to learn more about the qualifications they require of their instructors. As a BBST course instructor, you will be able to use a number of instructor support resources to help you teach online. We've developed a series of instructor manuals. The first manual offers information that we think will be useful for anyone teaching an online course. We also have course-specific manuals for each course. The course-specific manuals provide a detailed timeline for the course and describe the exercises and activities in the course. Throughout this instructor's course, you will refer to the general information manual as well as the foundations manual. There is a clear need for testing courses. Up to one half of the software engineering effort involves testing, with many companies maintaining test or programmer ratios of 1 to 5 and even 1 to 1. Despite this evident need, few universities teach testing courses and even fewer offer a second or third course in testing. Of the few courses that are taught in universities, many are broad and very shallow. As professors try to cram the testing content listed in the new IEEE ACM curriculum guide into an already full computer science curriculum. To fill this gap, a variety of very popular commercial short courses have been developed by charismatic and experienced experts. Most of these courses are ineffective at improving the state of the practice because they try to cover too much material at too shallow a level. Because of the commercial trainer's severe time constraints and lack of familiarity with the learner's specific context, most courses don't allow students to apply new testing ideas to the learner's specific situation. The short time frame of these commercial short courses provides too little opportunity for students to practice new skills and even less opportunity for their work to be assessed and for trainers to provide feedback. Although BBST materials originally came from this same tradition with the same disappointing results, Kaner and his collaborators have developed a new instructional format that shows promise. In this instructor's course, you will learn about the key components of this format and how Kaner applies them when he uses the BBST materials in his own teaching, whether for academic or practitioner audiences. The BBST materials, in various forms, have been used in online and face-to-face -face instruction for academic credit, certificate credit, or non-credit courses, and for academic courses, professional development courses, commercial training, and in-house staff development. As you become familiar with the BBST course materials and in instructional format, you will notice that none of the individual ideas are original. After all, teachers have been lecturing and questioning their students for millennia. They've videotaped lectures and asked students to watch the lecture for decades. The teaching techniques in the BBST materials are not new. So, what is special about the materials and the instructional format? The combination seems to work. Some of the factors for the success we've had with this course are listed in the slide. We'll highlight the specific role of some of these factors over the next few modules. For our discussions, we'll use the BBST four-week course format developed in our work with the Association for Software Testing to illustrate how these are implemented in the courses we teach and supervise.